we're diving into the wonders of Avorias. Join us as we take in its breathtaking Alps, ski its stunning slopes and soak in the charm of its alpine village. We'll take you on a tour of the best apres spots, including the legendary La Folie Douce, where we dance into the sunset. But wait, there's so much more. We'll trek up into the snowy peaks to uncover the ultimate spot for a mountain charcuterie board, witness a jaw-dropping sunset and ski down in the dark. Make sure to like and subscribe to follow along with our top line travels. Getting ready for a day up the mountain today and it snowed last night. We've hit first lifts this morning so we're getting to the chair lifts before anyone else is still actually closed. Are you ready for the fresh cow? Yeah, I'm born ready. No one in front of us. First lifts. Getting first lifts means carving fresh morning tracks as the sun rises. It's an exhilarating start to the day with the promise of pristine slopes and untouched powder waiting to be discovered. Okay, let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh, she's got some depth. Send it. Oh, yes. First few runs of the day done it. Oh my gosh, that was stunning. Literally fresh tracks, beautiful snow. Snowed quite a lot last night, so it's amazing. And the sun's out, so can't be happier. As hunger struck, we decided to head into Avoria's for lunch. For a quick, affordable meal, Car 4, the local grocery store, is the perfect spot, offering a variety of inexpensive pre-made meals and even providing microwaves for public use. It became our favourite stop for convenient meals during long ski days. After a big morning of skiing, it's unreal out there. Got some wraps, some gears from the restaurant. It's just stuff to get much better. All right, we made it to the top. Check that view and mountains and blue skies and fresh power. We're going down there. Woo! This is epic! It's stunning out here. We're the only ones. Skiing off piste in Avorias offers adrenaline pumping adventures as you explore the untouched terrain beyond the marked trails. With its vast backcountry areas and challenging slopes, adventurers can find thrilling descents and stunning scenery to rival any groomed run. So good! We were lacking proper safety and avalanche gear and didn't have a local guide making it a bit of a risky experience. One we'd recommend avoiding without proper preparation. Do you know where to go? We may or may not be lost. Where? Wait, look at this. It's just like beautiful, fresh cow in all directions. Stunning. Brad, you just said we're in uncharted territory. Okay, we're in uncharted territory here. It looks freaking dense in there. We'll see. We'll see now. She's tight. Just, just gonna have to side slip through here. Rain? Yeah. You okay? All right, we found ourselves in the bushes on a really skinny track, you can see behind me, off piece, trying to get down the mountain. Wish us luck, we've kind of like got ourselves in a bit of a pickle. Brad's checking out where to go next. We can get through. It's just a bit of a mission.
Oh man, we made it out of that crazy thicket up there. That is literally, that is what we were in. Are you kidding? Anyway, we made it out. Blue skies again. <laughs> Fresh power incoming. Sweaty as hell. Yeah, it's, I'm sweating too. Ugh. You can see a track where people are. Hallelujah, praise the Lord Jesus. We're not gonna die today. <laughs> at the top of the mountain and watching the sun go down. It's so spectacular, this is crazy. The winter sunsets here paint the sky with a breathtaking palette of fiery oranges casting a magical glow over the snow-capped peaks. As the sun dips behind that horizon, the alpine landscape transforms into a scene straight out of a fairy tale. Another day, which means another bus ride from Morzine to catch the gondola up to Avoriaz. The sun's shining and we're headed up into the Alps, ready for some fun. Walked up to the tippy top to have a look over this amazing valley. It's just stunning. Avoriaz is located in the French Alps, situated near the border of Switzerland. Its proximity to both France and Switzerland makes it a popular destination for international visitors seeking world-class skiing and breathtaking mountain scenery. The dense Dumidi stand majestically in the Alps of Switzerland, boasting three kilometers of breathtaking mountain peaks. What an amazing day to be off this mountain. Look at the sun, it's shining, it's a proper bluebird day. Skiing Avoriaz offers an exhilarating experience with its vast network of slopes catering for all skill levels from beginners to advanced. With stunning panoramic views of the surrounding mountains, every run feels like a winter paradise. And the resort's high altitude ensures excellent snow conditions throughout the season. Perched high in the French Alps, Avoriaz boasts a unique history as a purpose-built ski resort developed in the 1960s. Its buildings, characterized by distinctive sloping roofs and wooden facets, seamlessly blend with the natural surroundings, earning it recognition as a pioneering example of mountain architecture. Strolling through the car-free streets, visitors soak in the vibrant atmosphere filled with bustling cafes, lively apres ski spots and charming alpine shops, all set against the backdrop of stunning mountain vistas. We stopped in at a local rooftop restaurant called La Cabane for some aprils in the sun. This is living. A glorious fusion of alpine heritage and lively town vibes creates an enchanting destination for winter sports enthusiasts and nature lovers alike. And the sunsets over this beautiful alpine village are something that Brad and I will never be able to forget. We just watched the most amazing sunset and now it's time to head down for App Race and the sky's turning all colours, pinks, yellows, greens, blues, it's beautiful. This is exactly what life is for, it's enjoying all these moments, the sunset is amazing and it doesn't get much better than this. After a day out on the slopes, it's time to get some drinks. We stopped in at Happy Hours Bar for Apres. As the sun goes down, the DJ sets pump up the crowd, getting everyone on their feet and dancing on the tables. It's a wild scene where the music and energy create an unforgettable night out. Waiting at the bus stop, heading up the mountain a little later today because we are headed to Folly Deuce, which is a club restaurant at the top of that mountain. Having a few pre-drinks at Carrefour because the drinks are cheap, and then we're heading to Folly Deuce. Cheers guys! It's such a nice day today, the sun's out and I'm really excited for a good time. Gonna get up on those tables I think and have a bit of a party. For the button lift! <laughs> Taking the little button lift up to the tippy top. Thrilling. <laughs> Really? La Folly Douce in Avoriaz is an iconic apres ski destination renowned for its lively atmosphere and vibrant entertainment. Nestled amidst the stunning alpine scenery, this mountain venue hosts exhilarating DJ sets, live music performances and spectacular dance shows that captivate visitors throughout the afternoon. With its energetic ambience, delicious food and panoramic views of the surrounding peaks, the Folly Deuce offers an unforgettable experience where guests can celebrate and unwind after a long day of skiing on the slope.
Next mission begins. Ski back to town and it's night time. So wish me luck. Overnight, and we can't wait to hit the slope. Fresh ski day, yoo Completely above the clouds this morning. It's an amazing inversion with the mountains sticking off. The clouds have started to fall down on the mountain. There's a little bit of snow coming down. We're going to head lower into the tree line so we can see. We've made it down here to the tree lines. We can actually see now where we're going, so it's much better. Let's go. From vast open slopes, perfect for carving turns to thrilling tree runs, weaving through dense forests, this resort offers so many options for exploring the mountain. It's snowing and we're in the trees. It's so beautiful, but I had to stop and just have a look around because it's just like a magical winter wonderland. Brad and I always come to this bakery. It's got some pretty cheap produce and everything's super fresh. Delicious. I'm gonna take you inside to have a look. With its cozy ambience and affordable offerings, this bakery is the perfect place to start the day or enjoy a mid-afternoon pick-me-up while exploring the mountain village. It's a little hole in the wall bakery, but it has so many yummy treats and it's usually super busy here. So today we're pretty lucky. There's no massive queues. Yes. They do the best focaccias and toast them here. It's really good. I love them. Got myself a mulled wine. Now we're just relaxing before we hit the slopes for the afternoon. On a red run and up the top here, we have a bird's eye view of Avoria's. There's an inversion this afternoon, which means the clouds are below us, covering the town of Morzine, and we're up above the clouds. So cool. Avoriaz has lots of mountain bars and restaurants, one of which is the Igloo Bar. The Igloo Bar offers a unique apres ski experience where guests can enjoy drinks in an igloo entirely made of ice. Currently in the igloo, we've just ordered some drinks. Nestled amidst the snowy landscape, this icy oasis provides a memorable stop. Today, it's a beautiful sunny day, we've decided to take a hike up with some lunch. We've gone to the car for and picked up some snackies and now we're gonna make our way up. All right, we've made it to where we have to unclip and start hiking up. And the journey begins. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get sweaty very quickly. So beautiful here though. 360 degrees, mountains everywhere, bluebird day, so beautiful. Doesn't get much better. Whew, the climb is real. My legs are burning, but we're nearly there. Like hundred degrees. We're halfway up and we've stripped off half our clothes because it's so hot, it was so like warm. Not okay. Yeah, we're literally sweating. Woo. At the top, we made it. The views are incredible. We're the only ones up here. Time to set up our Shakuda ski board. <laughs>
Cheers. Cheers. To an epic picnic up on the top of the mountains with views mm. over the Alps. It is just amazing. Doesn't get much better. The sun's out, it's warm. Guys, this is living. Now it's time to tuck in and enjoy our lunch before we ski down. This is our attempt at a Shakuna ski board and I'm pretty happy with it. Watching that sun go down, it is just magnificent. It's literally amazing, I can't believe this. How good. Time to put this bad boy up. The sun has officially set, which means it's our time to get our skis on and make our way back down the mountain. We've got ourselves some head torches. Brad's getting them now, just in case it gets a little dark on the way down. We've got our head torches on. It's getting dark, so here goes nothing. It's getting cold too, so we are all rugged back up. Total ghost town, no one's around, but wow, this is fun. Join us next episode as we venture to the breathtaking town of Chamonix, France. We ascend the Alps by train, explore an enchanting ice cave, experience the thrill of a mountain luge ride and uncover amazing lunch spots. After a day of adventure, we dive into the vibrant nightlife. And wait, there's more! We're pampering ourselves at one of Chamonix's best mountain spas before heading back to Avorias for spring skiing and the epic mountain party scene as we bid farewell to winter at Snowbox, a mountain festival. Festival. Don't miss out on any of the excitement. Stay tuned, like, subscribe to our top line travels.